Hi. Today I'm going to um, talk about the FS Carrot package. The FS Carrot package is a feature selection uh, tool. Um, let's uh, pull up the, um, the help file. So it's a feature selection carrot, uh, main function for fast feature selection. So its purpose is not to um, to train or uh, predict variables. Its purpose is to figure out how important a variable is uh, in your data set. Um, and it, the twist here is it will do it uh, as an ensemble. That means you can easily find out what's important using a uh, uh, your model, but this one will uh, take a group of models and vote uh, and scale it so that you get a vote of all the models together of what the group thinks uh, is the most important feature, second most important feature, etc. So um, what does it do uh, exactly? So it, it extracts the, the importance of each variable and it will leverage the, the variable importance function of uh, uh, your model. So in Carrot, much, most of the, the well, not most, but a lot of models have the var, var im function, and that will return how important a variable is to that to that model. Uh, linear models will use the absolute value of the t, t statistic for each parameter, and tree models, decision tree models, will uh, total the importance of the individual trees. It will also return a, a an MSE, the variable of the estimator, and the variance, sorry, of the estimator, and the RMSE, the standard deviation of the sample. And it will scale them too, so uh, you have a, uh, a vote from all the models together. Um, it's a wrapper around the the, the carrot package. So uh, the carrot package, for those that don't know, is uh, also a wrapper but uh, it's a wrapper over o almost 150 models and um, it permits you to talk in a, in a very simple uh, uh, a single language to each one of these models so you can easily switch from one model to another without changing much of your code um, it um, and it also has a, a carrot also has a whole bunch of very useful um, uh, helper and um, uh, tuning functions which we'll use uh, two of them today um, so let's see to, to find out what uh, what kind of models the FS Carrot package supports, you 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 load the data set Funk Reg Pred, and we're gonna look at it. It's not that big, so we should be able to see everything. So there you have it: big models, GLM, the famous ones, GBMs, PLS, and uh, 84 of them. So it supports 84 models, and to see uh, uh, the models that the Carrot package supports. 149 models, so almost twice as many. So, but regardless, this is not a package to, to train and predict. It's really just to find uh, how important your variable is in your data set. So, plenty of uh, 84 models is plenty to work with. So, anything that says ensemble, you have to be wary. If your machine has problems running a model by chaining 10 of them together, it's not going to get better. It's going to get exponentially worse. So, start with a small set, and I'll show you how that's done. Uh, another tip um, that's from the help file when you install the package uh, it, it recommends using the depends and suggests flags uh, meaning that you will all the dependencies and all the suggestions will be installed at the same time so what that means is it will install all the models the first time you install the package so it, I think it took me an hour and a half uh, and some of them you know uh, uh, will ask you permission whether you, you want to or not install this package. So you have to be there and say yes, yes to everything. But it's better than uh, waiting to run a huge a set of models. And um, uh, as your model uh, keeps progressing, in the middle of it, it will stop. And it'll say, hey, do you want to install this package? Yes or no, because it's not on your machine. And that's more of a pain, I think, than just doing everything on the get-go. And I use this function a lot, so uh, I think it's worth the investment. Um, now, uh, for the uh, for for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, use a data set from the the UCI, the University of Colorado uh, repository. Uh, we're going to use the Titanic data set. It's a simple uh, data set. It has 1,300 observation and just a few uh, features, but it's perfect for what we needed to do today. Um, off the bat, I'm going to do a few transformations. I'm going to create a new column called title and I'm going to extract the 
the title Miss, Mr., etc. And we're going to make it into that. It's, a, it's currently a character. We're going to make it into a factor. Age uh, has some uh, NA, so we're going to impute that right now. And by the way, all this code, there'll be a link for all the code I'm writing, and it will be on GitHub. So, you know, you can get the entire thing from there. Uh, let's see how we're doing so far. So, we have name, uh, class, age, text, survives, and title. So, uh, this is looking, uh, it's starting to look the way we want it. The one other thing that uh, you need to do for uh, the FS caret package, it requires things to be in an MISO format. That means multiple in, single out. That means your target variable has to be the last in your data set. So, this is not going to work for us right now. We have to uh, move the title, uh, uh, the title column. Uh, basically move the survive last. So we'll just deput the names. And then we will simply reorder things around. That's very easily done with the deput. So I'm going to remove the name column because they're all unique and it's not going to do us any good in, in, the, in the way it is currently. And we got the titles out of it. So we got something out of it. There we go. So let's see where we're at. Okay, so now the, the data set is a lot simpler. So we're going to use what, so we're going to start by using the first helper function from the caret package, and that is we're going to dum, dummy all these columns, uh, all the factor columns. Um, we need them all to be in a binary format or a numerical format, and we will uh, dummify the um, we're going to dummify the uh, the factor columns. So we uh, we need to, we already loaded the caret package. And this is the function call. It's called dummy vars. The tilde dot means we're going to do please transform any factors. Uh, it won't touch the the ints or the the numericals of the Titanic. And we we say full rank false. And I'll explain what that means. And I also have a whole video on the dummy vars. So if you want more details on that, it's a great tool. So once you have it, the the Titanic dummy is holding the. Uh, uh, our dummy columns, and now we need to predict it, basically assigning them back to the data frame. And let's see what it did. So it basically took uh, our class, for, for example, the class column, and made it into three separate columns. Basically, the class column had three levels, and it made uh, one column for each level. So if you had not chosen full rank, you said, or I mean, you said full rank true, it would have just uh, show two columns because there's three so you're either one you're either first class or either second class if you're neither first or, or second you're obviously third class so this is redundant and it actually hurts the model too you don't want to have that um, so but but for the, for the for what we need to do today this is exactly the way we want it so the data set is set now let me get the uh, the the star of the show the fs caret function and there it is. So we still have a little bit of work to do. It requires a training data set and a testing data set. So far we only have one data set. So we'll have to split it. Uh, a time limit. So in case your, um, your models run too, uh, too long, it will skip. Uh, and pre-process, it will remove the zero variance and uh, it'll check for correlation amongst your, uh, uh, your variables, your features. Um, here we're calling a single model. If you wanted to call all the models that support you, would simply call, uh, you would simply change this to all. The func red use dot func red pred to all, and uh, you know support supports multi cores and it's got a few other things. But so first we need to split our data set. And that's easy to do. We're going to use another uh, function from the uh, the caret package, and that's the create uh, data partition. It simply uh, grabs a vector. Uh, uh, to get a list of all the indexes from my data set, and it will split it. So we're saying, you know, give me uh, uh, three quarters, a random sample of three quarters of the indexes from my data set, and then we're going to assign those back to a train data frame and a test data frame. And the test data frame is basically the indexes that are not part of this split. So basically, this is going to be a three quarters, and this will be one quarter. So if you, um, oop, I didn't mean to, I need. Let me just read this one here because we want it to be test, not est. There we go. So let's look at what we have. There, so we have uh, 985 uh, observations in the, in the training and 328 in the testing data set. Okay, so now we, we are looking, uh, all, we're almost ready to uh, run uh, our model, uh, to run the, the, the function. 
we're just going to limit the number of models we're going to run this time, just so it's fast for the, for the demo. We're just going to use these five models, GLM, GBM, TreeBag, Ridge, and Lasso. And now we're going to get uh, the, the main function, the FS carrot function, that so happens to be named the same way as the, the package itself. And we're going to change this. We don't want the GBM. We don't want all. We just want our, the models we selected. And we're going to run this. So it, uh, if your data set is huge, it's going to take a long time, you know, a couple, maybe even hours. Um, this is going to take a few seconds. And uh, again, uh, it's, an, it's, it's an ensemble of models. So if you choose all and a big data set, it could you know, run for a very long time. Be wary of that. And now we're going to give it a few, sec few seconds. It should, be, um, it should come up. And it's going to give you um, uh, confirmations. As it's uh, as it's working through um, each one of these models. There we go. So here are the confirmations coming out. So it's using a text file to uh, to collate all this information. But what's nice about it, it tells you exactly what it did: GBM, GLM, Lasso, Ridge, Treeback. So we went through our five models because we 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 assigned it to the MyFS. So let's look at what MyFS returned. It returned a, a, a bunch of variables. We're very interested in the var imp, so we're going to look at that one. MyFS dollar sign var imp. Okay, and this returns um, the RMSC and the MSC of all your models, and um, uh, the the sum, the scaled sum. Uh, of what it thinks uh, the variable importance are. So it's, this is in a, it's sorted hierarchically. So the first feature is the most important. So unfortunately, that the, the input numbers are numerical. So you have to call another um, another variable, which is pp labels, and this will give you the labels. So so you know what we're talking about. So uh, let's see. So it's uh, the uh, the MSC result says one, two, four are the most important. So one, first class, two, second class, four is age. So right off the bat, you know that these are very important. First class, second class, and age are very important to all these models as a whole. So so what you could do is you could, for example, just run a model just on those three variables, right? And and, and three features and, and just dump the rest. That's one way of doing it. Another way, which I like to, the way I like to use it, is um, I like to look for uh, I like to use this to then uh, train uh, my models on, as an ensemble. So off the bat, you could see that, um, uh, let's see, GLM and TreeBag are very different. GLM thinks the, the, the first feature, which is first class, is the most important. TreeBag, on the other hand, thinks uh, feature number four, the age, is the most important. So right off the bat, these two would work really well together in an ensemble to predict your data. Also, Lasso and Ridge, uh, these uh, um, uh, models, are exactly the same or very close. So you would need to have both of them in your in your in your ensemble. It would be a bit of a waste. So that's kind of how you would use these, this result set. But either way, it tells you in order of importance what it thinks are the most important variables. So one, two, four, seven. So one, two, four is H and title miss. What we just did seemed to be important. So there you have it. Uh, I want to keep this under uh, 15 minutes. Um, the code will be on GitHub and there'll be a link in the, in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.